Hello everyone and welcome to this video overview of our second leadership module in our balanced assessment series where we are focusing on the formative assessment process. My name is Carrie McDaniel and I'm joined today by Misty Higgins and we are professional learning coordinators in the Division of Program Standards Office of Teaching and Learning at the Kentucky Department of Education. And this year we are focusing our work around addressing two essential questions. So what resources are available to support Kentucky educators as they work to create and implement a comprehensive balanced system of assessment that is aligned to the Kentucky academic standards? And then also, how can schools and districts utilize the formative assessment process to help students meet the grade level expectations built within the CAS? We are currently in our second year of the three year implementation plan that is focused on balanced assessment. So really addressing that question of how do we know that students have learned by drilling down on formative assessment. Now let's look at our learning goals for this module. By the end of module two, leaders will understand the key elements of the formative assessment process. They will understand the role of students in this process, as well as key considerations for leaders to support the formative assessment process at the local level. In terms of the success criteria, leaders will be able to articulate what is meant by formative assessment in terms of what it is and what it is not. They will be able to describe what formative assessment looks like in action at the classroom level, and then based on their learning, they will identify specific next steps to support the formative assessment process in their own school or district. Module two takes approximately one hour and 45 minutes to complete. However, this can be broken down into more than one session. So to assist in planning, we have provided estimated times for each section of the module in the facilitator's guide. As an overview of the module, you can see that there are five sections and the estimated times for each section is in that right hand column. So section one provides a brief overview of the module, including the learning goals and success criteria. Section two defines the formative assessment process, addresses common misconceptions about this process, as well as takes a closer look at the three critical questions the formative assessment process empowers students to answer about their learning. Where am I going? Where am I now? And where to next? Section three examines the observable shifts that might signal that effective formative assessment practice is in place in a classroom and how this process is really something that students and teachers engage in together. Section four focuses on four action steps that school and district leaders can take to foster a culture that supports the formative assessment process across a school or a district. And the module wraps up with leaders reflecting on their learning and brainstorming possible next steps. And so like Misty shared, this module is broken down into five sections. There will be three leadership modules in all within this series. And the second leadership module includes a facilitator's guide, PowerPoint presentation, and links to additional resources and handouts. All three leadership modules will be released individually as well as packaged together this fall. As always, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to either of us. Missy and I are happy to clarify or address any wonderings you may have along the way. And remember, you can access this module if you go to the leadership trainings icon under professional learning modules on kystandards.org. Thank you for joining us today.